हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज दलित सोनी एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्टेट पीसीएस क्विक रिवीजन बाय दृष्टि पीसीएस इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सेक्शन फ्रॉम ज्योग्राफी दैट इज लोकल विंड्स हियर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मेजर लोकल कोल्ड विंड्स एज वेल एज मेजर लोकल हॉट विंड्स एंड इन द एंड देयर विल बी सम प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू टू अटेम्प्ट एंड आंसर टू मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द लोकल विंड्स एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस लोकल विंड्स वन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर हियर इज दैट साइज here when we talk about the local winds that means that we are talking about a specifically smaller area okay so these are having regional variations in the temperature and pressure so here you can see local winds are produced due to the regional variability in the temperature and pressure in a particularly smaller area local winds are confined to the lower layers of the atmosphere okay so here you can see why these variations in the temperature and pressure are important because if there is a high pressure let's say if there is a high pressure that means that uh, in this particular area there are a lot of winds which are uh, having concentrated over here and they will start to get you know out of this particular region okay so since this is a high pressure area so wind will flow from high pressure to low pressure okay and since this is the low pressure area so here wind will start to since winds are coming over here they are getting concentrated over here so they will start to ascend in the air so basically you will see convection over here and because of which there will be cloud formation and there can be uh, you can say uh, rains okay so that is how the local pressure and temperature variation actually impacts the uh, you can say weather of that particular area and local winds are mostly important with respect to the uh you can say smaller variations in this particular region okay now if we talk about the major local winds around the globe so here you can see there are various uh, uh, winds which are given with respect to the dimension here you can see if you look at the north america over here that is chinook then we have uh, norther norther is because basically it is coming from the north and then you will be seeing nor'easter or bridgers which is there that is coming from the northeast region then we have norte then we have uh, pemperu which is there in south america so there are different names which are given uh, to different local uh, winds which are there around the globe okay so here we have buron we have kara buron okay uh, then if you talk about this particular region of africa we have siroko khamsen we have harmatan uh, habub all these are basically your local winds okay we have helm we have mistral bora uh, levent and fawn these are important local winds we will be talking about them one by one in the next slides okay so first we will be starting with the uh, you can say chinook okay if you look at this particular area okay and we have rocky mountains these are your rocky mountains which are there in americas okay so uh, you know that there is one side which is your windward side then there is leeward side okay so when we talk about this wind side of the mountain so here you will be seeing that because of the low pressure and here you will be seeing that the cloud formation will be there because of the convection and since these uh, you can say uh, winds basically they are cold winds okay and they are having moisture and as you see when the uh, air air parcel rises in the atmosphere you will see that temperature will start to decrease and in the higher atmosphere you will be seeing that there will be cloud formation and here you will see that there will be a cloud formation that cloud will you know go for precipitation over here and once this has happened then the you can say this particular air parcel will start to descend when this air parcel is descending since uh, air parcel is descending you can say height is decreasing so temperature will start to get increase and because of which you will be seeing that these will be your warm and dry uh, you can say winds why because dry uh, they will be dry because they have lost the moisture on the windward side okay so on the leeward side they will be dry uh, air parcels and that is why it is a chinook chinook is a warm and dry you can say local wind which is there that is found around the you can say rocky mountains okay so here you can see chinook is the warm and dry winds descending from the eastern slope of the rocky mountains these are descending uh, slopes over here it flows from the colorado usa uh, in the south to the british columbia that is in canada in the north chinook uh, winds melt snow for much of the winters keeping the pastures open for animals because since these are warm winds so you will be seeing that if there is any kind of uh, you can say ice which will be there so because of this particular wind you will be seeing that that uh, area will be free from ice or that uh, you will see that there is a 
snow which will melt because of this particular uh, air parcel because that is warm and dry in nature okay so this is the location of chinook which we have already seen this is across the rocky mountains now moving further that is sirocco if you talk about the sirocco it is a hot and dry and sandy uh, wind flowing across from the Sahara and then it is moving towards the uh, north side through the Mediterranean. Okay, so if you look at the picture over here, uh, here, this is basically a Sirocco starting from Sahara over here. It will cross the Mediterranean and go to the northern side of Europe. So, uh, sorry, the northern side in the Europe. Okay, so here you can see it is a hot, dry, and sandy wind flowing from the sahara desert since it is a desert that is why it is a sandy wind okay and it is dry because there is no place from where that can get moisture though when it is passing through the mediterranean then it will you know carry moisture along with it okay and because of which there will be rains in the southern italy and these rains are called as blood rains okay now it crosses the mediterranean sea enters italy and spain sirocco wind has different names at different places such as Ghibli in Libya, Khamsin in Egypt, etc. Okay. Now, when it is passing through the Mediterranean, it will retain the moisture from the Mediterranean and it will enter into Europe where there are chances that they will go for the precipitation. And these rains over there in the Europe or the southern Italy, these are called as your blood rains. Okay. Now, moving further, next is Fohen. Okay. Now, when we talk about the Fohen, is a warm and dry wind that flows uh, through the northern slope of Alps mountains. Okay. This is the same, uh, you can say, process which we have seen in the Chinook. Okay. Now, this is the warm air parcel which is started to rise over here. Since it is height is increasing, that means the temperature will reduce. Once they reach a particular height, they will go for the condensation. Uh, once condensation is there, that means that there will be precipitation. Once precipitation has happened on this particular side of the slope, then you will be seeing the descending air parcel over here that will be warm and dry because it is uh, when we are looking at this parcel, the height is uh, basically decreasing. That means temperature will increase and it is dry because the moisture has been lost over here because of the precipitation. Okay, so this is the same mechanism which was there in Chinook. But when we are talking about the location, these are found in the areas of Elf Mountains. Okay. So that is basically there in your Europe. Now dryness and the heat of fern causes the ice to melt leading to the development of pastures and because of which also you will be seeing that the weather will become pleasant over here. Okay, so that is the same characteristics or mechanism which was which we have seen in the Chinook and just the name of the mountain range is different. There it was Rockies, here it is Alps. Okay. Now we can move further to the next one that is Samoon. Samoon wind has the same characteristics as Fohen. Okay. And it is moving across the Kurdistan in the Iran and Iraq. Then Shamal. When we talk about the Shamal, it is a dry and sandy winds because these are originating from the deserts uh, of Iraq and Iran and Arabia. So that is called as Shamal. Now moving further, Black Roller. Now, when we talk about the black roller, it is the hot and dry sandy wind blowing through the northwest or the southwest region in the great plains of USA. Okay, since it is from the plains, so that is why it is a hot and dry and sandy, uh, you can say, winds which are there. Then, Samum, uh, sorry, Simum. When we talk about the Simum, it is a warm, dry, and dusty wind uh, originating from the Arabian desert. Okay. Now moving further that is Yoma. Yoma with the name it is clear that it is uh, found in Japan and it is also a warm and dry wind blowing in Japan. Then coming to the Harmattan, when we talk about the Harmattan that is a wind blowing from the east and the northeast uh, towards the west of the Sahara. Okay. Now here you can see this is from Sahara. It will be moving towards this direction. Okay. So <coughs> from east from east or northeast, this will be moving uh, in the Sahara Desert. Okay, so that is your Harmattan. Harmattan is also known as the doctor wind because it makes the weather healthier by bringing dryness in the humid and warm uh, air of the west coast of Africa. So now this is moving towards this coast. This is the west coast of Africa. This is humid. Obviously, coastal areas are humid. And since this is a dry wind, so because of which it will make the weather pleasant over here. That is why it is called as doctor wind. So please remember, Harmattan is the local wind which is called as or known as doctor wind. Now, Norwester, if we talk about, so this is generally found in Asia. Norwester is a hot and dry wind descending from the high mountains in the northern New Zealand. Okay. 
then moving further we have karaburan karaburan you can see over here that is known as the black storm is the hot and dusty wind of the central asia tarim basin in mongolia okay so this is the location of your central asian tarim basin and mongolia so we have karaburan over here that is there in the asia now moving further a blizzard if you talk about so blizzard is a snow laden winds of canada usa and the siberian region here you can see if i am not wrong that was there in the here you can see this is the blizzard okay so these are there in the you can say usa canada and the siberian region as well now since these are snow laden so obviously these will be found in the area where snow will be found okay coimbang if you look at coimbang is a hot and dry wind blowing in java coimbang is harmful to the tobacco crops then papagayo that papagayo is a cold and dry wind blowing from northeast of the coast of mexico then gregele that is a strong cold wind that uh, that blows from the northeast in the western and the central mediterranean region mainly in the winters okay so this is a strong cold wind that is mainly flown in the winters okay so when we are looking at these uh, uh, winds over here you will be seeing that this is blizzard that is a snow laden so that is also a cold one okay then if you talk about the papagayo that is also a cold and dry one uh, gregele is also strong and cold winds okay now if you lo to look at the local winds over here northern we have seen that is there in usa norte that is also uh, you know originating in usa uh, willibao that is there in alaska pampero that is in argentina uruguay uh, then papagayo we have seen that is there in mexico then purga that is uh, you know in the tundra region bice that is there in eastern france and switzerland mistrels that are found in the spain and france that was given in the map Buran, there is in, they are in Russia, and after that we have seen the Kara Buran, that is there in Central Asia. Okay, then Bora, that is uh, in the Adriatic coast. Then we have Cape Doctor or the Table Block, that is South African Republic. Habub, that is there in Sudan. Uh, then we have uh, Seistan, that is there in Eastern Iran. Uh, Tramontane, that is there in Eastern, uh, sorry, Central Europe. Then uh, Levante, that is there in Spain. Then if you talk about the major local hot winds here, Sirocco we have already talked about, Harmattan we have talked about, Chinook we have talked about, Pohen we have talked about, okay. Then uh, Brickfielder if we talk about that is found in Australia, Simum we have already talked about, Black Roller we have talked about, uh, uh, Ghibli or Ghibli we have already talked about that is there in Libya, Khamsin that is there in Egypt, okay. Leste that is there in the Canary Island area, then uh, Chile that is there in Tunisia, Kaimbang we have talked about that is there in Java, Indonesia. Shamal that is there in Iraq, Norwester we have seen that is there in uh, New Zealand, then Santa Ana that is there in Southern California, Samoon it is there in Iran, Lu that is uh, prominently found in the areas of uh, you know India, northern areas of India, mostly you will be seeing that in Rajasthan etc. Okay, Ayala that is there in France, uh, then we have Gamsil that is there in Southeast Iran, uh, Solano that is there in southeast Spain okay other than that we have Berg uh, we have Baguio then we have uh, Sukhove, Habub these are given and prominent locations are also given in front of them okay now with that we'll be moving to the practice questions so first is the Chinook wind is primarily associated with which of the following regions Rocky Mountains USA B is Sahara Desert Alps Mountains and Arabian Desert question number two is which wind is known as uh, uh, known for causing the blood rain in southern Italy, that is Sirocco, Fohen, Chinook or Harmattan. Question number three is, which wind is commonly known as the doctor winds due to its health benefits, that is uh, basically Samoon, Harmattan, Shamal and Norwester. Then question number four, the Yoma winds blows through which of the following countries, China, Japan, Iraq or Sudan. The last question that is the black roller is associated with uh, which geographical area, Great Plains of USA, Sahara Desert, Mediterranean Sea or Japan. So you have to attempt all these questions and answer to me in the comment box. With that, I would like to take your leave. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Dear viewers, you have to be prepared for our exam and subscribe to our channel.